First off, um, Kevin Stefanski is a cancer, and he, he, he says, oh, I want to give credit to the Steelers. No, you should give credit to yourself. You're the reason the Steelers won. Hey, I'm not going to lie to you. The Steelers are so bad right now that any other team in the league would have destroyed them today. We didn't. You know why? Because Kevin Stefanski is like a governor on a motor. They only, he only allows it to go so fast. It don't matter who you have in that quarterback. It's the same result. He calls play. He's a high school play caller. His play calling, he doesn't. It's like he's afraid to go downfield. And then when he needed to go downfield in the fourth quarter, well, we needed to score, he started moving the ball. And then guess what happens? His little pet, the teacher's pet, Jarvis Landry, blows the game. Fumbled the ball away at the five-yard line and dropped another ball at the five-yard line. So Kevin Stefanski is the problem with Cleveland. See, people don't realize this. When I say something, you could take it to the bank. Kevin Stefanski is a cancer to the Cleveland Browns. He's an egomaniac, stubborn as a mule. We should have been spreading Pittsburgh out all game. That's how you win in the NFL in the, 19, in the 2021. You spread teams out. If you got a dink and dunk, guess what? That's going to open up something downfield. You use the pass short passing as the run game. Hey, he was running into a brick wall all day with Nick Chubb. Okay? Um, first down, I think he, out of what, 12 first down plays we had, maybe 13? I think 11 of them were fucking runs. We, I don't even know if we passed on first down. I think they were all fucking runs. He called one of the worst games I've ever seen in my life. You look at our offense. We put up 14 against the Vikings, right? That was on Mayfield. And a terrible play call there. Mayfield played terrible, but the play calling was horrible. Uh, we put up 17 against the Broncos. Horrible play calling. Um, seven points against the uh, Cardinals. Horrible play calling. And today, 10 points against the Steelers. Horrible play calling. We should have beat the Steelers like a drum. If Alex Van Pelt was calling plays, we would have beat them like a drum. So, Kevin Stefanski is a cancer, and he is holding this team back. I mean, he is, you have to unleash. If your quarterback throws an interception, guess what? Your defense is there to play defense. You can't handcuff him, so your team scores 10 points. He is the most stubborn. Why am I the only, me and my buddy, why are we the only motherfuckers seeing this? Why the fuck can't these media members see this shit and go to the fucking press conference and ask him if he's going to give up play calling anytime fucking soon? He's holding this offense back. Odell Beckham, why is he even in Cleveland? Kevin Stefanski's not going to throw to you, brah. He's not going to get you the ball. You're a vertical threat. He's not going to throw to you. If you're a receiver in Cleveland, you don't even need to get. You don't even. You're not even going to see the ball unless you work underneath routes, or if the game. If we need to score late in the game, that's when you'll get the ball because he, if all else fails, Kevin's got to score. He'll uh, he'll empty his playbook, his high school playbook out. I, I hate this guy. I fucking hate him. We're a four and four team right now because of Kevin Stefanski. We're a four and four team because of Kevin Stefanski and nothing else. You can't blame this loss on Mayfield. If you look at Mayfield, you're asking a guy basically to be a game manager the whole game, and then you're asking him to make plays downfield when he doesn't even throw the ball game. The guy's throwing the ball 5 and 10 yards the whole game, then you want him to throw downfield and make accurate throws. Although he played, Mayfield threw some accurate balls late in the game. Should have been caught. Jarvis Landry should have caught the ball. We win the game. So I, you, as much as I want to say Mayfield was the reason we lost, he had nothing to do with this loss. He performed the plays that Stefanski called. The guys didn't catch, he didn't, they didn't catch balls. Stefanski is the reason we lost this game. Make no bones about it. Kevin Stefanski is a cancer mentally to the Cleveland Browns. And he needs to be, somebody above needs to relieve him of play calling. Jimmy Haslam, D. Haslam, whoever it is, take away play calling or just fire him. Because we are 4-4 four and four because Kevin Stefanski is the worst play caller ever. And I'm embarrassed of it. As soon as Pittsburgh went up 15-10, it's funny, we started moving the ball offensively. His little high school offense was bottled up all afternoon. And he, he was forced to bring out the playbook and start playing some NFL. He was forced to start using some 2020 concept NFL plays and go downfield. This guy, and if anyone can't see his play calling today, then you don't know football. He was the reason we lost. The guy waited too long to start trying to score. It's like he's scared to go downfield. Or I'm going to make my little high school offense work in this league. I hate him. So we're 4-4 four and four because Kevin Stefanski sucks. Totally sucks. This loss is on Kevin Stefanski. Our offense scored 7 points, 10 points, 14, and um, 17. <laughs> Kevin Stefanski. <laughs> oh, and David Njoku. We got a David Njoku sighting. Guess what? When we needed to score down late in the game, we got a, day, a couple of David Njoku sightings. We don't see him the whole game. <laughs> Our offense is so predictable. Run on. Oh, my God. I can't even think about it. We should be. 
I was going to say we should be five and three, but we should be about six and one, seven and one, whatever. I don't even care. Season's over. I know mathematically we can still make the playoffs, but with Kevin Stefanski calling plays, we're going nowhere. If he doesn't go to Cincinnati and open up the playbook next week, we're going to get slaughtered. We're going to get slaughtered. So, and now, of course, Mayfield will get all the heat. Oh, he didn't win a game. He had a chance at the end. And what's he supposed to do? Be a Flash Gordon and hand the ball off to uh, Jarvis Landry? Jarvis Landry can't catch. He sucks. He fumbled the game away. Mayfield made a perfect throw to him. He dropped it. I mean, what do you want to do? I can't blame Mayfield. I would love to, but I can't. I got to give Mayfield credit. He went for a first down and went out of bounds. I didn't agree with him getting up afterwards like a child, but I, that motherfucker, he's a tough kid. Mayfield, I if you hate Mayfield, you got to admire his toughness. And in the in predicament he's in right now, the situation Stefanski put him in where he handcuffs him, you can't blame Mayfield for anything that's good. The Cleveland Browns have a real tough choice to make. They either have to pick their quarterback or pick their coach. And to me, it's a no-brainer. You pick the quarterback, get rid of the coach. This coach has proved it this year. He's horrible. Four and four. Last year, we played the Steelers 25 points. The, the following week, Stefanski gets COVID. We scored 48 points. This week, we scored 10 points. He kept on trying to force Nick Chubb first and hey Pittsburgh they knew he was coming first and ten every freaking first and ten I'd like to know the uh, how what the percentage was every every first and ten I I seen it two times in a row we got a first down on the Nick Chubb run came back got another first down hey, hey he went first down hey, he went first and ten run Nick Chubb he picked up eleven first and ten again run Nick Chubb he got stuffed it's embarrassing it's embarrassing and if I was one of these players man I, I wouldn't want to play there. I mean, it's, it's uh, Jarvis or uh, Odell Beckham's got to be disgusted right now. His career ended in Cleveland because of Stefanski. Even Freddie Kitchens got uh, Odell Beckham 1,000 yards. 1,000 yards. Odell Beckham was still a viable player under Freddie Kitchens. Stefanski turned him into a non-factor at all. And why do you have this guy? Just release him. Let him go play somewhere else. Let him write a book on how bad of a coach Kevin Stefanski is. This team's an embarrassment right now, and it starts with the head coach. The defense, they give up 15 points too many. They should have held Pittsburgh to three or maybe scoreless. Pittsburgh's offense is so bad. For them to give up 15 points is an atrocity, and they can't get off the field in third down. Cleveland's defense sucks. It does. It sucks. Joe Woods is horrible. Yeah, you look at the high rank Cleveland's defense got, that's misleading. They played horrible offenses. Pittsburgh's offense is flat-out horrible. So if you're Pittsburgh right now, you got a gift from Kevin Stefanski. And I don't even give a fuck anymore. I'm tired of beating this drum of how bad of a coach he is. No one wants to believe me. Pretty soon people are going to start seeing it. I hope the fuck we go in Cincinnati and let the offense go out. Hey, open up the playbook. Go downfield. Mayfield will throw you four or five TDs, one interception. Who cares? We'll win the game. That's the only way you're going to beat Cincinnati. You can't ask this defense to go out there and try stopping that offense for four fucking quarters. you got to fucking score, Stefanski. You are a fucking clown, and I can't stand you. I wish God would stage you the fuck out. I do. I wish God would stage him out. I can't stand him. He has killed my football season. Any other coach right now, we'd be six and two, seven and one. We're four and or, we're four and four at the midway point because of Kevin Stefanski. Four and fucking four. This is all on Stefanski. Oh, and his presser after the game, he was pissed. He was so mad. You can tell. He was. He, you can imply. You can see he was implying that the players were at fault, not him, not his golden playbook. So our season's over. I mean, mathematically, it's not the AFC North. I mean, the teams are going to beat each other up, but we had an easy win today. It, it sh hey, I told you guys the other last week. I go, Kevin Stefanski's going to let Pittsburgh hang around, and they're either going to win it, and I'm going to have to sweat out a victory. And he did, exactly like I said he would. I was right. We should have been 1-0 in the division. Easy. It was an easy win for us today. If Alex Van Pelt was calling plays, we would have beat Pittsburgh 45-15. to Guaranteed. We would have beat Pittsburgh like a drum if Alex Van Pelt called plays. No doubt about it. Kevin Stefanski couldn't score. He 10 points. So, it's a shame. The defense actually did play... Decent, not great. They gave up 15 points too many, and they couldn't get off the field on third down. They gave up a big play at the end of the game, but it didn't matter. What we were going to do with the ball back offensively? Dink and dunk downfield because Stefanski's a clown. I can't even give Pittsburgh credit. They didn't do nothing to win this game. Stefanski gave it to me. Gift wrapped it in the air. Take it. We have the worst coach we've ever had in Cleveland. It's not even funny. It's so frustrating watching this guy kill our offense. Hey, 
Our offense is playing against two defenses, Stefanski and the team's defense. That's how bad Stefanski is. We're going against two offenses, defenses, Stefanski and the other team's defense. I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done.